And we're back with more Monkey Ball Madness. This is organic form. Looks like some sort of stingray, sort of wavy platform thingy. Oh, fast forward button. Go backwards. There's a play button. You should know the pattern by now. Just remember to hit that play button. It, of course, wastes time, but it'll save your life. Remember, sw also switch sides. Whoa! As they switch sides. They kind of switch erratically, but you kind of will get the time right and also stay in the center where it's not so flippy floppy danger zone and this is reversible all right the trick to this one is to find out where the door stops so I mean reversible gear how did I leave out the gear part anyway we gotta go like I think it's over here or something and no oh, no that's not it wait where is the door need a hey, camera bad camera Bad camera. And is this the spot? Wait for it. Oh, wait, there's a door. And no, that's not the spot. Was it at this angle? Oh, I can get it here. I can get it here. Just gotta wait for it to go around again. And careful and go, 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 go. Yeah, we're inside it. If you uh, mistime that by any bit, you'll be thrown right off the edge by that spinning gear. It'll be so much fun, won't it? <laughs> Alright, this is Stepping Stones. If you go to the right, there's more prizes, but if you go to the left, it's safer. So, left it is. It gets uh, as thin as these middle areas right here. Uah! Uh, I recommend you stay towards the inside. It's a lot harder to angle yourself from the outside. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> I went a little. I was a little too hasty there, but I made it. Also, when you, whenever you pass diagonally through those like grid-like center squares, you want enough speed to make sure that you don't flop right through them. And this is dribbles. I hate this one. I hate this one so much. Uh, you'll either, if you don't go fast enough, you'll run out of time, and if you go, if you go too slow, you'll get squished. It's just a balance issue. And uh, yeah, you, it'll get, it'll squish you right through these platforms. And the danger part of the platforms are uh, on these slightly off-colored uh, floor panels, like that. So you're safe right along the edge of these uh, octagonal areas. But uh, don't stay by them too long, obviously. I mean, don't stay under them too long. And whoa, that looked like I was in a lot more danger than normal. Um, this one's a little bit quicker. Just go through it. Just take the corner tight. Uh, okay. And one more to the goal. Yay! See how, how, see how tight the time was on this one? But that's okay. Next up is URL. Nick, I'm going to be doing a little advertising for the site, evidently. www.amusementvision.com This is obviously the people who made the Monkey Ball games. And it is in the form of a giant piston of death. Oh, I just mistimed that. That sucked. Okay, gotta wait for it to move forward. And then make your opportunity and duck in here. Yeah, these are the safe spots, but if you're up there, when this thing moves forward, you are going to be screwed. It's going to push you right off the edge. Yeah. To the goal, to the goal, go, 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 Okay. I am a happy little monkey. To the next stage we go. Woohoo. Uh, it's Mad Rings. Oh, no, not this one. Not this one. The timing. The timing is so bad, and, and there's no special switches, too. The, if you uh, don't time your uh, movement well, you're going to be knocked around by these rings! Oh my god! Oh wait. Oh. Oh, uh, I must be thinking of some other one that uh, is hard. Because that first ring isn't hard to get past at all, evidently. <laughs> but if you go uh, further on, you'll be able to uh, get some more points from hitting the other two goals that are down there. Yes, there are alternate goals to some of these stages. And uh, in the challenge mode, if you hit, go into an alternate goal, you'll be able to skip some stages. But when I get to the challenge mode, I won't be skipping any stages whatsoever, just so I can get everything in. Uh, um, you know, just to show off all the stages of the game. And yay, I'm in the goal. Dance, monkey, dance. Woo! Uh, next one, Twister. It appears that we are going to be in some sort of movie flick that I'm not referencing whatsoever. <laughs> and 
now? Why is there some sort of Jewish star? <laughs> I've got nothing against Jews, but that's what it looks like. Take a look at it. Doesn't it? Look at that. It looks just like it. Okay. When it's be about to close up like that, run into it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. OMG. OMG. No! I mistimed it. Yes, retry. And wait for it to collapse. I think I'm going to get a running start this time. Okay. It's going to open up. And when it starts collapsing, I'm going to do the running start. Go, monkey, go. Go, monkey, go. Go, 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 go. I think I got it this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, that was okay. That was danger zone. Danger under the city, and this is downhill. I'm guessing we're going to be moving downhill. You can skip most of the stage by jumping right off the edge and trying to land on one of those rings for an expert shortcut, but that's an expert shortcut, so I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, but I would recommend trying to jump right off of here, because that one's an easy one to do, and it'll save you time if you would like to take your time. But I'm not going to totally take my time, because these are just basically flat, except for when you actually hit a slope. When you hit a slope, just pull back on the control stick, just straight back like that, and you won't have any trouble controlling yourself. Don't hold forward down the slopes or you'll fly right off the edge. Go! Yeah! And final one, junction. You can either go backwards or forwards. I'd recommend going forwards. It's slightly easier. If you go backwards, the slopes are a lot more dangerous and a lot thinner. But you'll get more points, and it is also a uh, one of those uh, special exits to skip sta stages, if need be. But as you can see, the regular one is very easy to get through. Hold on just a sec. Continue! Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got all the camera, or the, the memory card dumb, just to make sure I could get this story sequence in. There appears to be something glowing way over there, it appears to be some sort of plant life under the sea. I've never seen a glowing plant, but I'm pretty sure there are actually glowing plants. They got a little fluorescence to them. I know there's fluorescent worms out there, if I'm not mistaken. But the, hey, he's in a frog suit! We're playing Mario 3! We have to catch Mario! No, he's not Dr. Badboon, he's Mario! Bring it on! Yay! You're still here! I can't believe it! What do I have to do to get you monkeys off my back? And that he's... How's he talking underwater? He's not inside a ball. Is he able to talk with that oxygen mask thingy? He wouldn't think he would be able to. So long! Woo! Look at him go! We will catch you! Come on, do a dance! Ah! I guess he's not gonna do a dance. And it appears he has reached the surface. I can't breathe! Must be low on oxygen. What? Or something, I don't know. You think? If that's. Oh, okay, there we go, that explains it. Go, Dr. Baboon, go! Oh no! But the game must go on. He can't be captured just yet. He's got to be like the worst villain ever. He keeps getting caught by everything. And what the heck is that approaching? Oh my god. And why is he warning the good guys? To be honest, if I was in I.I.'s position, I wouldn't believe him either. <laughs> I mean, who would believe the bad guy anyway? And oh my goodness, we are going in a whale. And he looks very happy. Yeah, panic! Panic! Yeah, no! No! It's the, we're gonna be eaten! <laughs> what can we do? Nothing! We must escape the world now! You know, sometime in the next part, whenever that may be. Um. Or the story sequence can move on to the next part, and that would be kind of mean. Come on, make it within the YouTube time limit. Look, <laughs> it appears that this whale has swallowed the entire cities. Jesus. It almost looks like the uh, Sonic Adventure Perfect Chaos Final Boss. Oh, I just kind of spoiled the game for. <laughs> 
or uh, Sonic Adventure players. Whoops! Spoiler alert! Uh, Ten seconds earlier. Whoopsie! And then again, people might not know what Perfect Chaos is anyway, but they do know what Chaos is. So, so yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, maybe that's where the inspiration came from for this area. It was the demolished city area for Perfect Chaos. I'll see you guys in the next part where we do the inside of the whale. That's kind of gross sounding. Doing the inside of the whale? Ew.